basically you know, i just wanted to come up with new things you know because i didn't want to just do you know the routine work but i really wanted to come up with something new something different and uh, and make materials which don't even exist today and so that that kind of uh, interest in inventing something new and that's what made me interested in engineering so i uh, got my bachelor's in engineering mechanical engineering uh, from india and uh, suddenly like a lot of people at the time i wanted to do my uh, graduate school in the us so i think i applied to the university of houston and i had an opportunity to come here but i was in the right place at the right time because uh, right when i joined the university uh, that's when the superconductive materials were discovered and uh, of course at the time that particular material got a lot of interest uh, because these are materials that can conduct electricity with no resistance and uh, so i started working on it uh, for my phd and we made a lot of progress but then uh, uh, of course uh, in terms of taking the technology and really making something useful out of it uh, that happened when i went to industry i was a chief technology officer of a company called superpower and uh, by 2008 Uh, we are the first company to produce these uh, superconductor wires uh, in long lengths and large quantities so i went to industry i worked there for about 15 years and came back here in 2008 and happy to be here and i've uh, been here for 8 years i'm a professor of mechanical engineering and i'm also associated with the texas center for superconductivity so i'm the director of the applied research hub of the texas center for superconductivity and now we have started a new institute called the advanced superconductor manufacturing institute so i'm also the founder of the institute so i have multiple hats so my teaching philosophy is to really to make students into critical thinkers some of the more successful engineers and scientists are the ones who can really look into the problem and look at it in a different way than others can uh, so i like to uh, teach in a way that not just uh, show the students what the material is about but i have them ask questions why is it so and and encourage them to ask a lot of questions and unless you ask why you, you won't be able to go to the next level you'll just be a follower you won't be a leader you won't be somebody who's inventing something new well my favorite part about teaching is really the interaction with the students uh, because uh, each time i teach is something new because and uh, that's one benefit of being in academia compared to being in industry or elsewhere because you're constantly seeing new students every semester and every student they have their own they have their own viewpoints that's really the best part of my you know, teaching winning the doctor hours is uh, a great honor it's a great prestige and especially coming from industry i think i uh, really been enjoying this time in academia uh, because just the matter of uh, able to work with different kinds of people and the independence frankly i never really been thinking about getting awards and so on but when i'm getting honored by something like this by uh, my peers and others uh, is it's really great honor